It's polling in Pakistan, 100, 100 million voters or more are expected to choose between cricketing legend Imran Khan and Nawaz Sharif's brother Shabazz Sharif as the next Prime Minister, ending military rule in the country. There's already been a terror attack outside a polling station in Quetta, killing 18 people and sporadic incidents of violence has also been reported from other parts of the country. Uh, Bloomberg News' Chris K now joins us from Karachi with more details on this one. Chris, it's, it's, it was seen as an extremely close contest. What are surveys revealing? Yeah, that's not uh, a wrong characterization. Look, a poll of polls compiled by Gallup Pakistan yesterday showed, you know, Nawaz Sharif's PMLN are slightly ahead in Punjab, but the Imran Khan's PTI are slightly ahead nationally. So it is very close. Um, the PPP, the Pakistan People's Party of uh, Bilal Bhutto Zadari, are expected to get, you know, aren't really sort of seen to get anywhere close to power, sort of getting the third largest vote count there. Um, the reason I mentioned Punjab earlier, it's really the key province. It counts for more than half the National Assembly seats, and it's been the real battleground for Khan and Sharif's party. So there's a lot of, all eyes are basically on that province, really. Chris, you know, much has been said about uh, the role of the military and the influence that it has on the on, on the politics of Pakistan. Uh, the question really is about is about you know what's at stake for Pakistan for a free and fair election this time. Uh, yeah, you're quite right. I mean, that's been really one of the main controversies of this election. That there's been widespread allegations against the military and. Uh, of interference. And the theory is that it wants a controllable government in power um, that won't undermine its uh, domains. Um, and supposedly that would be come under Imran Khan's party. Um, both the military and Khan have repeatedly denied this, but there's been you know widespread allegations from journalists, activists. The two main other political parties have been very vocal about harassment and intimidation, but they say comes from the military and spy agencies. And that's uh, the, criticizing the military in Pakistan isn't taken lightly. Um, particularly out in public. So the fact that this, this has really come to the fore and people have been so vocal about it, you know, it really tells you something about the conduct in this election. Um, and rightly and wrongly, if Imran Khan does come to power, he may face some questions over this alleged interference and really some questions over the legitimacy of his victory. Chris K, many thanks indeed for joining us uh, with those details. Chris K for reporting from Karachi.